Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how to free up storage on your Chromebook. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is to come here to settings and then scroll down here to system preferences and then just click on storage management here. And here you will see a little audit of your storage. So my Chromebook has 30 GB of storage and I only have 1.3 GB of storage. So I have very little storage and it's beginning to slow up my Chromebook. So when we look at the breakdown here, uh, I have files of up to 1.2 GB, browsing data of roughly 1 GB, apps are taking up 3.5, and then I have Linux storage here, which is taking up the most storage at 10 GB. Then system storage, this is actually what the Chrome OS takes up and you have 15.3 GB. And then of course you have external storage here, which is where USB drives and SD cards come in. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just click on my files here and it opens up the file explorer and of course you have downloads here yeah, Linux files uh, from the Linux container and then play files this is from the Google Play Store so the biggest culprit that you probably want to look at is downloads here and every time you download something off the internet using the Chrome browser the content is going to come to this folder here so this folder here is the default folder on Chromebooks all right so what you probably want to do is to come to size here and then tap on it and then here you can arrange files based on storage size okay so as you can see my my files are very small because i actually did some freeing up of storage so now i'm just going to select everything and then i'm just going to click on delete so once you delete these files actually are moved to the trash and you can come to trash here and now you can now just empty trash. Okay, so now this is going to completely uh, free up storage because it deletes uh, the files forever. So uh, since I want to restore them, I'm not very sure what I deleted. I'm going to leave it at that. So that is one way of freeing up storage. The next way is to come to browsing data. So this is mostly cookies and uh, cached data, which could be images and files. And this can really grow over time as you use your Chromebook. Okay, so what you want to do now is to delete at least these cached images and files. I don't want to delete cookies here because then my user, my saved usernames and passwords and, you know, form autofill data is remote and uh, I don't have it in memory. So I'm just going to delete the cache data here. It's just going to free up a bit of storage. Awesome. So let's go back here and I can see that is uh, reduced a little bit. And then we can now come to apps here. So you want to look at an audit of, of the apps that you've downloaded on your Chromebook from most likely the Google Play Store and just delete those apps that you're not frequently using in order to, you know, just free up some space. So I'm going to have to just do a little audit here of all the apps that are downloaded on my Chromebook. And I'm probably going to maybe remove, this is just an example, WordPress. I'm just going to click on uninstall here. And there you go. All right, so let's go back here, storage management. You can see I have a Linux storage of up to 10 GB because when I enabled Linux storage here, Linux development environment, I allocated 10 GB of my Chromebook storage to Linux. And, you know, depending on your Chromebook, this could really eat up your storage. This Chromebook has up to uh, 32 GB, so you can imagine 10 GB dedicated to Linux is really, really huge. So if I'm really tied up and I'm probably not using any Linux applications anymore, I could just come here and just remove uh, Linux. So this is going to remove the Linux development environment and delete all Linux applications and data in your Linux files folder from your Chromebook. So you can go ahead and just delete for now. I'm just going to leave it because I'm still using some uh, Linux 
applications on my Chromebook. So the other thing that you probably want to look at is actually offline files. So this happens when you enable offline access on your Google Drive. So if you, if you came to the files up here and you can see Drive, and then uh, it has an option of uh, enabling offline access for, for some of your Google files, okay? The files will now be saved on your Chromebook. But since I have not enabled offline access of my Google Drive, I literally have zero KB here. So there is no offline files that are currently sitting on my Chromebook, and I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, so the other option that you probably want to do is to enable external storage. This doesn't free up space, but you know, if you have like a flash disk or a micro SD card, you can actually move some of the files off your Chromebook to external storage. That is the USB drives or the micro SD card. So my Chromebook actually has a micro SD card slot here. You can see. And then you also have a USB-C port, so you can actually plug in a USB-C hard drive. And then obviously here, this same power cable or same power port can also be used to plug in USB-C drives. And if you have a USB-A, USB standard port um, external storage device, you can also plug it in here, right? Yes, so you can then move all the files from your Chromebook to external storage. That way you can free up some storage on your Chromebook. Last but not least, if you really want to just uh, free up everything, then you can just power wash your Chromebook. Power washing your Chromebook is literally just resetting your Chromebook to factory settings. This will delete all local data. So you have to first ensure that you have all backups of important files before you actually do this. All right. Okay. If you want to factory reset or power wash your Chromebook, simply come to settings here. All right. Then come to system preferences right here. Okay. And then just down here, you can see power wash right here. Remove all these accounts and reset your Chromebook to be just like new. So click on reset and then you'll have to confirm. Okay. Yes, but I'm not going to do that. All right, guys, this wraps up our tutorial on how to free up storage on your Chromebook. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon so you'll be notified of future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.